got those eyes staring. Hope it's not too weak. Oh, did I, I don't think I used Earl Grey. Does that matter? It's going to be ordinary. Never mind. We can say in our talk that we use Earl Grey, though. Yes, we would indeed. Only once a day. Oh, we, oh, yes, it's only in the afternoon. Morning has to be strong breakfast tea, doesn't it? Yes. Afternoon, more delicate. <laughs> ah, Dave, this is your one. Coming over to you. Thank you very much. Don't spill. Right, sit. Where should we sit here? Yeah, just either side here. Yeah. Right, tea's all right now, not too hot. So could you tell me about your daily ritual and tradition of having tea. your cup of tea? Right, breakfast. Breakfast, we okay. get down here about eight o'clock. I make the tea and it's nice dark Strong brown. tea. Strong <laughs> tea, yes. That time in the morning. Then that's the, the first cup of tea, and then you have... Um, coffee mid-morning, but that's very quick, very short, isn't it? But then lunchtime, another cup of tea. Strong and brown. Strong, but this afternoon tea, that's different. This is our Earl Grey tea. <laughs> and that's nice. It's more delicate, isn't it? Yes. And has to be in a nice cup. That's important. You can have an old mug any other time. <laughs> And when did this tradition of your afternoon tea at three o'clock? Oh, a few years back. Oh, a long time. About 20 years, I think. <laughs> yes. Could be. Just before we moved here, I think. Yeah, must That's have been. 18, isn't it? Yeah. So it must be, yes, about 20 years, I'd say. And we've changed our cups a few times. <laughs> yes, they've broken. Mm, got cracked. So this is rather nice. It's funny, we always say it tastes nice in a nice cup. I think tea drinking is going though, isn't it, down? Coffee drinking is, is going up, so they say. Yes. Uh, we've got about 12 places that serve drinks in Enfield Town. And of those, I would say half are purely coffee places, not too, no tea at all. Coffee shops, yeah. And there's only one real place that does afternoon tea with tea and cake and everything else. And that is a place called Mar Batley's. It's a sort of sweet shop with a, a tea cafe shop above. upstairs. And they do actually do proper afternoon tea. Which is probably going back to the 1930s almost. You know, well, there's lots of places in town that have afternoon teas properly. But um, that's for special occasions. Do you often go for afternoon tea? Have you done the whole tea and scones thing yes for yeah. a treat we were given a voucher that was lovely but yes. um, that is a treat wasn't it it's it was very a, filling mm. <laughs> lots of little sandwiches my grandson gave us a voucher yeah. to go somewhere in london and really that's very he's nice. a great tea drinker and um funny enough the first time he drank tea was in spain wasn't it about 12 years ago yeah, yeah. never drunk tea much before that at all had he no is it because we were drinking tea? We no, were... well, we weren't at the time. He oh. just wanted to try it, something new, you know. And from then on, he was hooked. Yeah. <laughs> She's rather good. He always likes his big, ah, oh, big mug. We should show him that. Yes. Big How old is your grandson? 22, isn't he, this summer? Yeah, yes. Oh, gosh. So it's 12 years since he's been got into tea. So how how often do you drink tea with him now? Is it a sort of commute like when you come together? Is it sort of a yes. tradition? When he comes back from uni, yeah. come round afternoon tea. Three o'clock. Our yeah. cups, his big mug. Yes. And then a chat. <laughs> yes. Three o'clock is always the time. Three o'clock for tea. <laughs> so is that a sort of tradition you've kept with him? You know, obviously he's the younger generation. Something you always keep. Three o'clock tea together. Seems to be, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Oh, yeah. It's rather nice. Yeah, it's, it's, we didn't realise how it's become, isn't it, a tradition? Yeah. Without realising. Yep, because if he says, I'll so, be round. Well, as I say, a lot of younger people don't drink tea. It's uh, mm. coffee, isn't it? Yep, not quite the same, but never mind. Mm. <laughs> it was always, if you were having somebody calls in, put the kettle on, make a pot of tea. tea. That was a social thing you just did, wasn't it? Mm. Automatically. And then sit in a chat. <laughs> yeah. And tea was always used for everything. Any 
big occasion or a, you had a shock or something like or that. Or a disaster. Have a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah something had happened. Tea. Have a, put a cup of tea on, that yeah. make it better. And yeah. if there was like something goes wrong, somebody has a fall, you know, like you did in the garden, you come yeah. in and you sit, recover, cup of tea. cup of tea. Yeah. That's almost automatic what you mm. do, isn't it? <gasps> Strange. Yeah. Funny. Well, it's quite a stimulant, isn't it? I mean, it's supposed to be, yes. Yeah. Not sure if it is or not. Do you think that we've sort of lost that now in society? Do you think it's sort of going? Yeah, I would say, because the same token, people don't often eat together, do they? They often watch in television, or they come in at different times, so they're eating with food on their laps. Not something. communicating. So therefore, they're out of the habit of tea drinking, you know, mm. as a social thing, I think, yeah. It was a community based thing that brought people together yeah, yeah. and that's the sort of thing we Definitely. all say as you say have dinner together mm. have a cup of tea together and then you talk but you ever see miss marple on, on television they all had the every area had these little tea shops where little old ladies went and met met other little old ladies <laughs> and they had tea and scones and all that and, and mm -hmm. yeah they, they seem to have disappeared except possibly at the seaside seaside towns you get them there, don't you? You seem to see a few, yeah, true. Oops. More tea? Want to top up? No, all right, thank you. <laughs> so how do you think we're losing the community in society today that we've lost it, you know, coming over, over a cup of tea, eating dinner together? Do you think that might be something to do with technology and Maybe when you were when you were your grandson's age, there wasn't that much, you know, on your phone. Oh, there was no internet. phones like that at all. So, also, yes, it could be that. Also, I think you had more contact with your neighbours, and uh, you probably stayed in the same house for 30, 40 years, and uh, you got to know the neighbours, they got to know you, and if you ever went there next door, as Valerie says, the first thing you do is have a cup of tea. And it was all to do with the community, which is slowly sort of disappearing now anyway. But we're talking about young ones that are always on their phones. That's not talking directly, is no. it? That's communicating by pressing buttons. Mm. And we didn't have anything like that naturally, did we? So no, no, but different generations do different things. And I think we're lucky that we communicate with our grandson without making on the phone, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Which is rather nice. Well, you told me when you went to Mar Batley's, you saw the two, two girls. The two uh, girls. What, what, did we, what did you feel when you saw them, like the younger, doing that together? Oh, I thought that was rather nice. Nice. Yeah, nice. They were enjoying just their own company, just lovely. chatting. D different for them. But too. wasn't it lovely? There was yeah. the, the extra quite double layer of the plates with the sandwiches and the cakes. And uh, quite unique for them, I suppose. And they were sitting there for about a good hour. They mm. said, weren't they? Well, we were still there when we left. I think that was really nice. Oh, yeah. Very civilized. Yes. <laughs> Well, it's quite an old tradition, afternoon tea with the whole scones, sandwiches. Yeah. Yes. Do you really think that these young girls were quite excited by well, it? It's a novelty. Yes. It, it must Something have been. New. And a yeah. treat. For them it was history, wasn't it? And you could see they were enjoying it, weren't they? It was mm. lovely. Don't yeah. do that very often, but it must have been no. special, like the end of a school year or something. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. nice. Would you, do you think it's good that, you know, say the younger generation are being excited by something which has been around for so long which has been lost and now they're discovered it they're, yes. yeah, it's a discovery. something new to yeah. them why not it's rather it goes round and round rather nice i mean i know you could still do the same thing you could have um coffee and cake couldn't you you don't have to have tea no but tea seems right <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Top up your tea. I mean, so if you wanted to encourage young people to yes, to do something to socially, mm. then you wouldn't just sit there on your phone, would you? Opposite. Mm. <laughs> I think it's probably the variety of, of the coffee that makes them because they go to somewhere like Starbucks. You can have about different 10 or types, 12 different yes. types, don't you? You don't get that with tea. If you go to most tea shops, they just say tea. You know, well, that's tea. why I like it. It's uncomplicated. <laughs> Just wanna let you know in my mind I call you home. 
And how can I go you home? You'll be mine and I'll be yours. I just wanna let you know. So could you tell me what that song was? You were just the tea song. <laughs> we were trying to remember. Um, I like a nice cup of tea in the morning and a nice cup of tea at night. But my idea of heaven is at half past eleven is a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Where that comes from? It goes from. all through the day. I can't remember the rest but because she has it all the time. We must have. That's in our brain, isn't it? From mm. way back. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, you just suddenly thought of that. No, I just suddenly crossed my mind. Isn't it? See, life so revolves around tea. <laughs> some woman sings it with a high-pitched voice. I mean. Yes, more than likely. I'll put this in to make another cup of tea at the moment. Right. Oh. Lovely.